Okay, we've got uh, make course adjustment and sort of an eye can counter there, but we won't look at that too closely because we'll wait. Kerbin is very far away. We should be in interplanetary space, so let's do another gravioli. I really should have Kerbals level up immediately. It's annoying to have to bring them back for them to level up. Okay, that's complete. And we can go to Duna and make orbit there now. Uh, that's probably not right anymore. Uh, wow. We've got an Ike encounter ahead of time. That's not something I needed. Looks like we're gonna get a premature Ike encounter no matter what we do though. Okay, we have entered Duna SOI. Oh, there it is. And we have a mid course adjustment to do. Not mid course adjustment, well, some sort of adjustment. Correction burn. And double check that we are not crashing into Ike. That's fine. After Ike, we'll have a Duna periapsis of 88 kilometers, so that's okay. Proceeding. Oh, we can do the gravioli here. Thirty-three point six science. Again, I'm just transmitting for now, and we are running out of electric charge. Okay, well, I don't. I, I guess we were on require complete, and now we're on allow partial. Let's try that again. Oh, we never got rid of the nose cone. Well, I guess we'll just do that. Hopefully it doesn't hit us somehow. Okay, so there we go. Over Duna's Highlands, apparently. First encounter with Ike. I wonder if it's hurting our ability to capture. First of all, how much would it take to just capture right now? Let's just see. That's 1,135. And then the main Duna encounter, how is that looking? Well, we don't seem to have uh, Ike encounter resulting from it, but that's only 600 still, so it's not hurt us. All right, passing. Well, let's do the... I guess we should keep it now. Log gravity data. Keep, since we can hardly uh, transmit it properly. Um, let's have... Elon, EVA. <laughs> And grab it and also go into the hitchhiker storage container or the cupola for now. Oh, I don't know what kind of... Have we done EVA report? No, we haven't. Interesting. Grab. Board. Alright. We could also probably do a crew report. Yep. And we'll just keep that for now. Alright, passing by Ike. I don't think we can get low over Ike at that height. Oh great, we needed to have started our burn a long time ago too. Okay, whatever. Let's go for it. The important thing is to capture, and we're already late. The joys of efficiency. At least it's not an ion engine. Oh, and we could probably do low over Duna soon. What about the barometer? Uh, not barometer, magnetometer. Uh, we've done that before, but we can get more by recovery. And that we can keep as well. Let's just check everything else. Well, there seems to be recovery possibilities here. So we'll take that. We will save the goo for Jewel. Well, camera changed, but we haven't quite captured yet. Ike is tucking in behind Duna there. We're getting a little bit high over here. Okay, now we've captured. Well, the nature of our capture throws off our plot there anyway. So we'll just go for the next convenient encounter. Up, oh, up. Oh, that looks like it. Is that getting us lower? Yeah. 
Is that going the right way around? Probably not. Let's see. So we're interested in Melrick's craft. Nope. And that is the wrong way around. So keep going, keep going. Flip around. Ah, we lost it. Uh, come on. <laughs> that looked like we were going to crash into Ike right there. All right, let's go over and see what happens. Oh, no, now it's showing. Now it's showing. Okay, okay. This was what I thought was going to happen. But it's all flickery and indecisive as usual. We're looking for about 65-ish. Ah, it disappeared again, but I think we've got it. Let's go over there. Just trying to play hard to get. We are back in Ike space. All right. So we've got an ascending node here. Let's just go ahead and help ourselves out. Okay, so we'll have a correction like that. Pretty costly considering 40 meters per second. And burn. It's probably good enough. Yeah, okay. And then if we plot here, it's not going to tell us when we encounter Melrick, is it? Right. I just hope we're not doing something silly. All right. Um, yep. Once we get into orbit, we should f fulfill the contract, right? Yep. We've got all the things checkmarked except for orbit of Ike. So one thing will be done. Retroing. We have captured. And now uh, it's just a question of how best to get a encounter. But it's not really showing me. No, oh, that thing is sort of sliding very, very slowly. I think we should just leave it there. We'll need Melrick to catch up to us, but it's going to take some time. And are we in orbit? Yes, we just need stability now. Okay, so the Ike station contract is fulfilled. We are now free to use the additional liquid fuel because that's not a requirement for the jewel station. What we do need for the jewel station is three pilots. That's the only thing unchecked here. And of course, putting it into orbit of jewel. So we need to pick up Melrick. And Melrick's craft. Uh, because we want to do that too. All right, so we will wait. Currently a trivial inclination difference, just need to phase. So all right, whatever we do around Jewel is gonna need to take less than 3,000 meters per second to get there and capture, well, capturing is easy around Jewel. But yeah, all the business is gonna have to take certain amount and we do want to put the resource scanner to use we won't do it around Ike it would have been good to we already have that Duna mission one I don't think we put a scanner on it though yeah we we have no resource data okay target retro so we need to transfer a crew between two vessels in orbit of Ike and I think we're gonna bring Melrick over to this pod first. Because we actually have to dock Melrick's craft, we are going to separate this off, I think. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do it with all of this business. And we'll just hold steady. Well, we should approach closer. This is a little bit far away. Wait until we're 200 meters before doing all that. Backup fuel cells might not have been a bad thing. I want to wait until daylight before doing anything further, I think. Okay, well, we're recharging now. And I'm going to separate off our spacecraft here. And we're just 
purely using RCS here. And over, not on this one, but in Melrick's pod, we will EVA Melrick to the spacecraft. Oh great, that thing's tumbling. Well, we can use the time warp trick. Actually, maybe engineer attachment won't be hindered by that. We'll see. Okay, grab and board. Okay, now Arnard. I think the docking port can go into Arnard's inventory. Let me see. Uh, well, we'll have to clear out the parachute first. Um, that's Melrick. Parachute in. Oh, only 40 liters. There's no way. So, what we need to do is get the spacecraft closer so that Melrick can do the business. Okay, Melrick. No, sorry, not Melrick. Uh, Arnard. That should be close enough. Get that from the command pod. Attach it. Can we do alt? No, um... Uh-oh, it's coming at us. Okay, okay, we got it on. All right, we'll get a pilot to do the rest. Board, uh, back, uh, back off, back off, back off. Let's not have it bump. We could probably just do it like this. Instead of having a, but it'd be nice to have a pilot in there, but it's not necessary, I don't think. Oh, 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 let's not do that. This way. Oh, I should have put it on the tail, not the nose. Okay, uh, hold on. Oh, shoot. Um. Uh, 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 Arnard. That's not gonna work. No, Arnard. <laughs> okay, Arnard. Stop gaping in wonder. You can attach it there for now. We want it on the bottom of that pod. Yeah, we can put it in the command pod for now. Okay, let's try and get a little bit closer. Neutralizing. Okay, now Arnard. Can you get that bottom thing? Is there a node there even? Let's see. No. Um, engineering mode. Yeah, there is. Alt does not seem to attach right like that. How about this? No. Um, wait. Okay, the Alt key is not doing wonders for us here. Let's go like that for now. Let's see, we need to close a little bit closer here. These stand-up EVAs, though. I mean, we could just put it on the top where it seemed to actually attach properly. But let's try and get this right. It'll be better in the long run. Let me just slap that battery. Oops, did it the wrong way again. Slap that battery on. We were intending on doing that. Oh, gosh. Um engineering mode take that come on well that's uh alt does not seem to be attaching it properly um yeah it's not snapping great so that's not what i wanted but i'll take it <laughs> at least the pods have reaction wheels it's gonna be a little bit off center though and we've got connection. All right, now we have to dock with the station again. So controlling from there. And we will we can get the station to rotate. That's what Elon is in here for. And then we have to figure out our transfer to Jewel. Okay, and make sure we... I guess we have the docking port targeted. All right. And we 
are docked. All right, so that much is tentatively successful. We've got a Melrick, and we've got in total three pilots on here now, and we've got Melrick's pod. We've transferred any crew between vessels near Ike. We've done that. Okay. But we do not have an uncrewed probe that can satisfy that. At least I I don't think that if we emptied one of the components of this of crew that we could actually succeed in getting that to acknowledge that we've done it. So all that's left is getting this around Jewel and then recovering Melric and Melric's craft. Why does it say build a new orbital station that has antenna, docking port, and can generate power isn't checked off now? Hmm. Let me see if it, uh, maybe because I fulfilled the station contract with this already, it's not going to count this, but let me go to a tracking station and come back and check if it's that, that's checkmarked or not. If it's not, then our plans may not be doable. Let's see. It might not count this as a new ship since that we picked up the contract, but you know, hmm, I don't know. We are trying something dubious overall. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna want this around Jewel. Well, too bad, it's going to Jewel anyway. <laughs> what can I do? So let me find out what the Jewel transfer window from Duna is. Not a transfer I normally do. First time we're going to Jewel, we're gonna do it from Duna. That's style for you. Uh, 85.5 degrees. Um, we should be catching up to that soon. Let's go to tracking station and time warp. We're just over 90 degrees. Okay, back to the vessel. Maybe if we separate off that pot, but then it won't have enough peoples. Hmm. This is complicated. All right, but we are here. I wanted to get the science. Uh, is this low over Ike at all? Well, it could be a different biome anyway for the Gravioli. Uh, well, we don't want to overwrite. Uh, Elon, grab that data, please. Take data. Take data. All right. And forward. Okay, so we've got that, and now we can log the new stuff. Yep. Okay, keep. Let me just make sure we've got the... Well, we've got a little bit of extra recovery possible for it. Okay, so we got those. How about the magnetometer? Oh, we haven't picked up that data. Elon out again. Download data, it says. Instead of take data, it says download data. Like we weren't downloading the other data, I don't know. Okay, run magnetometer report. Well, it's 36 extra signs if we keep that. Okay. So, now. I, I actually like the magnetometer sticking out. It's more stylish with everything else. So now we want to go to Jewel. It looks like the right angle, but Ike also has to be in the right place, which is over here-ish. If we can do that. If we make a node over on this side, we go out and further out and still don't quite hit Jewel. Okay, more, more out. And let's make sure we're in line with our orbit again. And further. And there's a dual encounter. What we need is some inclination change. We could probably build it in. It looked like we were close to one of the nodes. Okay. It's a little bit of a timing issue, which is great considering how hard it is to get this to do a burn quickly. Can we get some Tylo help here? I'm trying to be very close to Tylo. Ooh, Tylo's all the way over there, though. Oh, there's Leith, though. Mm, we might need a mid-course adjustment for that. Okay, but there's potential here. There's potential. 
Let's try and do this burn. It's gonna be rough though. Our orbit, well, our orbital period around Ike is actually pretty slow compared to around Kerbin, right? It is an hour and 13 minute orbit compared to like 30 minutes. So, actually the timing is not that sensitive. At least not compared to Kerbin. Okay, go. Okay, well, this burn has taken so long that we are pretty close to exiting Ike SOI, which is probably going to complicate things. I wonder what happens to a maneuver node when you exit the SOI. I mean, I guess we're going in roughly the right direction, but it's not exactly how it was supposed to be. So, we've done that, and we probably need a significant adjustment, but at least we do have a dual encounter. So let's just have a mid-course adjustment and try to get in close with one of those moons. We have to go on the other side. This is clockwise. That's not good. Okay, well, silo possibly out there somewhere. Maybe if we do another adjustment here. Just got complicated. There's a bop encounter. A bop encounter cannot supersede a Tylo encounter. Come on. I don't even know what's going on here right now. It feels dangerous. That is a crash course at Tylo. That's a crash course at Jewel. But not at Tylo. That's a double Tylo encounter. Well, I mean, that, that captures us into orbit though, but we crash into Jewel. That is a what? That seems safe around Tylo and Jewel. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll try that. Let's see. Let's go for this mid-course adjustment. You know what? I think this has been a very, very obscenely long episode. So, I that or I cut it into two. So, we're going to have to find out what happens next time. One thing I am going to do is make sure we don't have crossfeed there. So, hopefully this is our correct delta V. Oh, but the engine is not in the right place somehow. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, we'll have some mystery here. But anyway, we are on our way to Jewel for the first time. We have no idea whether it's going to count. Probably not, judging from this, which sucks. But anyway, we'll find out. And then hopefully, eventually, we will bring some of these people back. Only three can... Well, actually, all four can come back. We've got... But... It would be nice to leave somebody with the station because otherwise it's going to be uncontrolled because I didn't put a probe core on it. So that's a, an important thought. And of course, we would like to do some scanning and other science. So we'll see what we do at Jewel. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.